a very good afternoon to all of you my dear children i hope uh, you all are uh, busy with your uh, ganesh chaturthi celebrations and the whole week i was observing children not at all taking out books okay not even concentrating on studies okay and some of the schools might have started they have started uh, physical classes offline classes but um, in many of the schools the average attendance is going on okay but whatever it may be okay most of the children and parents of course uh, they are waiting for the offline classes but still not dared enough to send their children to schools okay but still this whole academic year children have missed a lot okay direct interaction with the teacher was missing but still they are continuing with their online classes and trying their best children are trying their best to learn what teachers are going to express to them okay uh, compulsorily children will be learning a lot only with the interaction uh, with teachers until and then, unless interactive sessions are not there definitely children cannot learn anything okay hope for the best and we all pray to god that the situations are going to be normal within very short time and we all go to school and learn okay with complete attention and with complete interest okay okay let us uh, start with the uh, today's topic let me introduce myself to all of you this is lalita peri your science teacher and basically i teach chemistry okay so today for my little kids of class 6 uh, i'm going to explain about uh, plant parts as sources of food that means edible parts of plants okay so this is my topic for today and we'll go into the topic without any delay okay so let us move on to the topic plant parts as sources of food plant parts as sources of food okay so this is our topic for today okay so this is one of the topics which is there in sources of uh, food food where does we come where does it come from okay the first chapter from uh, cbse class 6 science okay so let us learn about the different edible parts of plants okay so we all know different parts of the plants we have learned about different parts of the plants in our previous classes okay just recall what are the different parts of a plant okay we come across roots okay leaves stem fruits okay and uh, all these uh, considered to be the what parts of plants okay so almost all the uh, different parts of the plants can be useful in the form of food items okay we can use different parts of plants as edible parts also so in today's video we are going to learn about what are the different edible parts of plants and the different examples we will be learning in this video okay so let us start with the topic yes okay so what are the edible parts of a plant edible the word edible stands for what the one which can be eaten by us edible parts okay of plants let us learn about that which part of the plant we can eat those are called as what edible parts you all know different parts of the plants like stems roots leaves and uh, we also come across the seeds seeds of the plants even flowers fruits okay and uh, sometimes even buds also so these are the actually different parts of the plant okay in this edible parts we have to learn examples examples for edible parts of plant 
ओके ना एग्जाम्पल फॉर एडिबल पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लांट्स सो वॉट आर द एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर एडिबल पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स ओके फर्स्ट वी विल गो फॉर स्टेम एडिबल स्टेम ओके सो बिफोर वी गो इन टू द डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स यू ऑल नो दैट प्लांट्स प्रिपेयर देर ओन फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए प्रोसेस कॉल्ड फोटोसिंथिस प्लांट्स टेक इन सनलाइट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स फ्रॉम सॉइल एंड दे प्रिपेयर देर ओन फूड एंड दिस प्रोसेस यू ऑल नो दैट इट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट फोटोसिंथिस फोटोन्स द वर्ड फोटोन्स स्टैंड फॉर वॉट पार्टिकल्स ऑफ सनलाइट एंड सिंथिस इज मेकिंग ऑफ फूड मेटीरियल्स ओके द वर्ड सिंथिस स्टैंड फॉर मेकिंग ओके सो प्लांट्स प्रिपेयर देर ओन फूड बाय टेकिंग ऑल दीज सब्सटेंसेस एंड दे प्रिपेयर अ कॉम्प्लेक्स सब्सटेंस विच इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट स्टार्च येस स्टार्च ओके ग्लूकोज ओके सो प्लांट्स प्रिपेयर देर ओन फूड ओके दिस दिस पॉइंट वी नो ओके देन आफ्टर द आफ्टर इट्स ओन यूसेज द एक्स्ट्रा फूड मेटीरियल दैट हैज बीन प्रिपेयर बाई प्लांट्स वेर वेर डू द प्लांट्स स्टोर दैट एक्स्ट्रा फूड मेटीरियल्स दे मे स्टोर देम इन एनी ऑफ दीज पार्ट ओके लाइक स्टेम्स दे मे स्टोर देम इन स्टेम और दे मे स्टोर देम इन रूट्स और इन लीव सीड्स and you all know most of us will be thinking most of you people may be thinking that fruits are edible parts okay of a plant because most of the time up to now up to class 5 we have learned that fruits are edible and plants store their food materials in fruits okay so we might have learned the examples of different edible fruits okay but not only in fruits plants store their food even in different other parts also okay so that's why those parts in which plants store their food okay those can be treated as what edible parts okay so those parts can be eaten by most of the animals and as well as human beings as well okay human beings also will eat not only animals okay so let us learn different examples for what different edible parts of plant in that first one is what stem so stem you all know okay uh, so what are the examples of edible stems okay let us learn about that so first example we go for is what sugarcane sugarcane okay sweet juicy sugar okay will be there inside the stem of the sugarcane plant so okay so that's why sugarcane the first example for edible stem okay and then you all know celery okay and then asparagus asparagus and spring onions spring onions these are the examples for what edible stems okay and you know most of the people will be thinking that potato is a root of a plant no but it is an underground modified stem only potato is not a root potato is an example for what underground modified stem okay you will be learning about this underground modified stem in class 7 okay but you have to learn the examples here okay so let us learn examples for underground modified stems underground modified stems what are the examples for that okay these are considered to be stem vegetables not root vegetables okay so what are those first example is potato okay and then you can take the example of onion and then you can take the example of ginger and even garlic okay so potato onion ginger garlic all these are examples for what underground modified stems they are not roots okay so please remember this point right so these are the different examples for what stems edible parts of plants and then next we'll move on to the next edible part those are roots 
what are the examples for edible roots okay edible roots okay so plants store their food in roots also okay not only in uh, fruits not only in flowers plants will store their food in roots also so sometimes you will find the roots of certain uh, plants are observed to be swollen okay so swollen roots can be edible also okay swollen roots okay you can see them in the picture swollen roots like like what carrot carrot is an example for what swollen root bulged okay and then um, beetroot you know beetroot radish okay and then turnip so these are the examples for what edible roots and you will find the roots are found to be what swollen okay so those are the examples for what edible roots right swollen roots and then next we'll move on to the examples for edible leaves means leafy vegetables edible leaves okay what are the examples for leafy vegetables oh if your mother say about leafy vegetables most of the children will just move away from that uh, leaves leafy vegetables if any curry is made with leafy vegetables that day no lunch no dinner isn't it but that is wrong leafy vegetables will gives you lot much lot many minerals and uh, what we call iron calcium and all so we must come include uh, leafy vegetables in our diet okay so most of the leafy vegetables will give us lot many nutrients to our body so we should not neglect leafy vegetables okay so let us learn examples for edible leaves okay so you all know about moringa leaves moringa leaves okay edible leaves drumstick leaves moringa leaves are also called as what drumstick leaves leaves of drumstick tree okay moringa leaves very very healthy okay you just keep keep aside the taste of these uh, edible uh, leaves but these will give us lot many nutrients to our body so let use spinach fenugreek okay let use spinach fenugreek methi seeds you know okay mint leaves mint leaves also you all know okay pudina we will say right mint leaves okay and rosely leaves you know rosely green rosely leaves okay mint leaves sorrel leaves and uh, rosely you know these all are uh, certain regional leafy vegetables which are available in and around our surroundings like we call them as uh, uh, this uh, sorrel leaves okay chukkakura uh, rosely leaves gongura okay and uh, amaranthus you know amaranthus totakura amaranthus okay so all these are examples for what leafy vegetables they give lot many nutrients to our body rich sources of iron calcium and minerals so they are also edible parts of different different edible parts of plants okay so next we'll move on to uh, seeds edible seeds fourth category is what edible seeds so what are the examples for edible seeds and most of our um, diet includes seeds only rice which we take wheat maize basra millets all these are examples for what seeds only 
okay pulses cereals and pulses all their all these are examples for seeds only okay so edible seeds are what cereals and pulses okay so cereals you know examples for cereals in the previous video also we have learned what are the examples for cereals cereals like rice wheat millets okay rice wheat millets maize all these are examples for cereals and for pulses pulses all kinds of dals uh, dals like what red gram dal urad dal moong dal okay rajma all these are examples for pulses so all these are edible seeds of plants okay seeds that means plants are storing their food in seeds also okay the whole parts in the whole parts of a plant its food material was stored okay so plants are helping human beings and other animals in a um, what we call in a very useful manner isn't it so we have to make use of all these substances in a fruitful manner right so all the examples for dals are what urad dal moong dal okay rajma all these are examples of edible seeds okay next we will move on to the fifth parts of edible parts of uh, plants those are edible flowers okay edible flowers you all know kali flower okay kali flower edible flowers what are the examples for what edible flowers kali flower cabbage cabbage broccoli you know most of the children nowadays they are eating broccoli okay now broccoli edible flower and then uh, we also come across uh, um banana flower also edible flower banana flower okay banana blossom we'll say banana blossom so these are the examples for what edible flowers okay you can see them in the pictures right okay dear children next we'll come across next part of the edible parts of plants those are fruits fruits are very common you know that okay fruits fruits like what apple mango okay guava jackfruit okay so many examples from childhood you are learning about fruits so fruits are also edible parts of plants only and finally buds you know buds some of the buds are also being used as edible parts okay best example for buds which are edible is cloves okay now cloves spices in spices you will be coming across most of the edible buds okay spices cloves are the best example for what edible buds so like this you will be coming across parts of plant as sources of food okay so i think you have got enough information about uh, different edible parts of plants keep learning different different examples try to collect different examples and try to collect different pictures and make a collage in your notebook okay so thanks for watching dear children okay keep learning happy learning your hard work is your superpower thanks for watching bye